Well, with school returning, so has our weekly segment, Golden Apple. It's a segment we use to feature fun, creative, and interesting things going on in and outside classrooms at nearby schools. For this school year's first Golden Apple, Chris Burns visited Eagle View Elementary to discuss their new class. E-STEM, so it's a STEM, science, technology, engineering, math class with an environmental education focus. Today, the third grade class was outside learning how to leave no trace. The seven principal initiative is taught to help the students become more eco-friendly. No before you go. I think the younger we start, the better. Um, the kids really soak it up and they can start to live those principles. Choose the right path. So anytime they're outside, that whether they're with us at school in an outdoor space or they're with their family at the beach or a park, that they have some etiquette of how we should act and how we should treat nature. Leave what you find. Last year with social distancing in classrooms, teacher at Pequot Lakes were encouraged to get students outside as much as they could. The school quickly learned being outdoors often led the students to have more success inside the classroom. Trash your trash. We saw a huge impact in how the kids were able to focus and sit for longer periods of time once they came back into the room. So we just have tried to continue that all the way along. And um, so that fresh air, the energy, um, just enjoying the outdoor space. We're really lucky to have this beautiful space here at our school and we just want to make the most of it. Be careful with fire. Next week we'll begin the fall season and as we all know it won't be long after that before winter rolls in. But with the goal of keeping kids out of the classroom as much as possible, Eagle View Elementary took the next steps on keeping the kids outside during the winter temperatures. Respect wildlife. It's through Compure Financial and we were awarded a $10,000 grant this year and we're going to be constructing a yurt right where we're standing and the yurt is going to be something where teachers can bring their kids outdoors yet have a sheltered space so we can continue all the good things that are happening all through the winter months here in Minnesota. Be kind to others. The year is waiting for the town board stamp of approval. Once it gets that, it'll take no more than two days to set up. Reporting in Pequot Lakes for this week's Golden Apple, Chris Burns, Lakeland News. The yurt will be right behind the elementary school. The plan is to make the design into a circle to help replicate a classroom-like atmosphere. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.